All right, folks, buckle up, because we've got some piping hot tea today. Brazilian supermodel extraordinaire Giselle Bündchen, yeah, the one who used to be married to NFL GOAT Tom Brady, is now expecting a baby with her jujitsu sensei turned soulmate, Joaquim Valente. Talk about an upgrade from footballs to flying arm bars, am I right? But hey, we're not just here to gossip about Giselle's love life. Oh no, we're taking it up a notch. Today, we're pitting Team Giselle against Team Brady in the ultimate showdown, net worth and lifestyle edition. Who's stacking more cash? Who's living the dream in style? And who's flexing their millions harder? So grab your popcorn, smash that like button, and let's dive headfirst into this battle of the bougie. Round one, net worth and earnings. All right, time to talk money, because Giselle and Tom didn't just break hearts when they split, they also split one heck of a fortune. Brazilian supermodel is sitting pretty with a jaw-dropping net worth of 400 million. That's a cool 100 million more than her ex, NFL legend Tom Brady, who's worth about $300 million. Back when they were the power couple of the century, their combined net worth was a mind-blowing 650 million. But how on earth is Giselle richer than the guy with seven Super Bowl rings? Simple. While Tom was throwing touchdowns, Giselle was cashing in bigger paychecks. Between 2000 and 2020, Tom raked in $330 million from his NFL salary and endorsements. Impressive, right? Well, in the same time frame, Giselle strutted her way to a whopping $500 million. Here's the kicker. Giselle was the highest paid model in the world from 2012 to 2017, and even made it into the Guinness World Records in 2015 as the top earning model of the year. Oh, and let's not forget her $25 million Victoria's Secret contract back in 2000. Because wings don't come cheap, people. As for Tom, he didn't exactly skimp on the cash flow either. Along with his NFL earnings, he scored over $150 million from endorsements. And when he made his dramatic leap from the Patriots to the Buccaneers in 2020, he signed a two-year $50 million contract, complete with $9 million in bonuses. By the end of his football career, Tom had earned over $473 million. Not too shabby, but still not Giselle money. But hold up, folks. Tom isn't just chilling on a beach sipping avocado smoothies in retirement. Nope, the man is still stacking cash like it's a sport of its own. Even after hanging up his cleats, Tom proved he's not just a football goat, but also a business goat. He used his on-field greatness, dazzling good looks, and that aw shucks boyish charm to score a 10-year, $375 million contract with Fox Sports. Round two, real estate. All right, we've seen the millions. Now let's talk about how Giselle and Tom spent some of that cash on jaw-dropping real estate. Spoiler alert, their properties are almost as legendary as their careers. When the amicably divorced, their words not ours, power couple split, details about their settlement were kept hush-hush. But don't worry, we've got some solid receipts on their insane property portfolio. Let's dive in. First up, in May 2013, they snagged a lot in a gated community in Brookline, Massachusetts for $4.5 million, where they built a custom 10,000 square foot mansion. Flash forward to August 2019, and they listed it for a casual $39.5 million. Talk about curb appeal. Tom also flexed his real estate chops in 2006, dropping $6.24 million on a Boston building that he transformed from nine condos into four. The penthouse alone sold for $9.3 million, and the rest of the units fetched another $8 million. Not bad for a QB who clearly knows his way around a blueprint. In 2009, the duo splurged $9 million on a plot of land in LA's Brentwood neighborhood, then poured $20 million into building a 14,000-square-foot palace. The twist? They lived there for less than a year before selling it to Dre for a whopping $50 million in 2014. That's what we call a mic drop in real estate. Fast forward to 2018, and they were living it up in a 12th-floor NYC penthouse, bought for $25.5 million. Just two years later, they flipped it for $40 million. And then there's their Indian Creek Island property, AKA Billionaire Bunker. In 2020, they paid $17 million for a two-acre estate, making neighbors like Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump look modest. Oh, and before settling there, they rented Derek Jeter's Tampa mansion for $75,000 per month. Pocket change, right? 
And let's not forget their mystery property at the Yellowstone Club in Montana. Condos there go for $6 million, but homes, $30 million plus. We're not exactly sure what they own, but let's just say it's not a budget cabin. Round three cars. When it comes to cars, Tom isn't just a goat on the field, he's a petrol head's dream off it too. The man's car collection could make even the richest gearheads green with envy. Picture this, a Bugatti Veyron Supersport, because regular speed isn't Brady enough, an Aston Martin DB11, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, an Aston Martin Vanquish S Volante, a Ferrari M458T, and an Audi R8. Oh, and that's just the short list. Altogether, Brady's Garage is a staggering $5 million shrine to horsepower and luxury. Now let's shift gears to Giselle Binchen's side of the driveway. While Brady's collection screams speed and swagger, Giselle's is all about eco-chic and practicality. Well, mostly. She boasts a Tesla Model S, a Ford F-150 Raptor, a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Jeep Grand Cherokee, a Lexus RX400H, and a BMW X5. Here's the kicker. All these sweet rides were part of their joint fleet before the big split. Now, who gets what? Did the Bugatti stay with Brady while Giselle rode off into the sunset in the Tesla? Divorce settlements might have turned their garage into a metaphorical round of musical chairs, but one thing's for sure, they've got enough wheels between them to open a luxury dealership. So that's the scoop on the ultra-luxurious lifestyles of one of the most iconic power couples in history. Sure, their love story took a U-turn, but hey, they've made peace with it and are crushing their personal endeavors. Good luck to them. Not that they need it. I mean, when you're loaded and living that kind of life, blessings are just the cherry on top. If I had to choose, though, I'd definitely pick Tom Brady's lifestyle. Think about it. Single dad in his late 40s, a boatload of cash, a garage full of drool-worthy cars, and popping up on Netflix roasts. Brady's basically living the plot of a comedy drama we'd all binge watch. And let's not forget, he's the goat of football. No one's touching that legacy. Thanks for all the memories, Tom. And with that, we're wrapping up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to obliterate that subscribe button and smash the like button like you're spiking a football in the end zone.